When my older son was about to start first grade, my wife and I went to an open house at the elementary school. One of the teachers there said, it's not the curriculum we teach, it's the student. That line has stuck with me and affected almost everything I do as a teacher. For example, we know that students learn better when they receive frequent, individualized feedback on their performance and understanding. Yet the norm in most law schools in this country is to have no graded work until the final exam. I do not follow that norm. I have lots of graded and ungraded assignments, and I provide extensive guidance to each student on how to improve. The focus on students, not subjects, also affects what I do in the classroom. It would be easy for me to lecture about what I know for each 50-minute class, but frankly, that would be dreadfully dull for everybody involved. More important, it's unlikely to generate extensive student learning. And after all, it's not about what I teach. It's about what my students learn. So my classroom is an active and energetic place. I expect students to come prepared, and then we explore together what they have understood from their reading and from what they have not. I question, I critique, and I sometimes get very animated. They work in small groups, analyze problems, and present their conclusions. And I love it when a student makes a mistake. True learning requires curiosity and a willingness to take chances. This means inevitably that mistakes, mistakes will be made. <laughs> but mistakes are not a sign of failure. They're learning opportunities, and not just for the student who made it, but for the whole class. If a student says something brilliant and I make a big deal about it, chances are that 20 minutes after class, the student and I will be the only ones who remember. But if a student says something wrong and I make a big production about that, the chances are much higher that a large portion of the class will remember. And if a student catches me in a mistake, I will make an even bigger production about that. I guarantee no one will forget my error. After all, the classroom is not about what I bring to it, least of all my ego. It's about what my students take from it. And there's no shame in being wrong, only in failing to acknowledge or learn from the error. In sum, I believe that learning is an active endeavor, not a passive experience. If you want to come to law school and sit quietly in the back of the room, don't take a class from me. But if you want to be challenged and actively engaged, I look forward to seeing you at Gonzaga.